जय श्री माता जी विश्व के सभी साधकों का सुबह के ध्यान सत्र में हार्दिक स्वागत है दोनों हाथ गोद में चित्त सहस्त्रार पर कुंडलिनी चढ़ाकर बंधन लेते हैं तीन महामंत्र तत्पश्चात श्री गणेश मंत्र
ये अपने चित्त को सहस्त्रार में लाते हैं परम पूज्य श्री माता जी कृपा कर आप हमारे सहस्त्रार में विराजिए आपकी कृपा से हमारा आत्म साक्षात्कार सुदृढ़ कीजिए कुछ क्षण ध्यान अवस्था में बैठते हैं इसी अवस्था में अमृतवाणी आत्मसात करते हैं इट हैज बीन सच अ ग्रेट ट्रीट ट्रीट फॉर अस नॉट ओनली एंटरटेनमेंट बट द वे फॉर आवर फ्यूचर how to move and what to do it's very surprising that this fish bank business has been attracting my attention all the time i don't know much how they can digest everything so well in these modern times when people are talking of democracy talking of very big ideal things and all that 
at the same time how can such a illegal system exist open and for that i have a plan as arnu has said i have to expose i have a plan to do something about it as far as the materialism is concerned it's working out all these countries who were supposed to be very advanced developed are suffering first from recession and a terrible recession that recession is going to give them a lesson about over production of nonsensical goods materialism comes because people have gone mad with their greed i was searching a house in england went round to see houses <laughs> and i was surprised that all kinds of plastic things and mixed things and all that were piled up in mountains in every house mountains and you pass through a door you will find two legs of a pant falling on you but not only in england same in paris i've seen people accumulating so much of nonsense that they don't know where to put it and what to do this madness is on and on and on now <clears throat> i have found out a solution for sir yogis what they should they should try to encourage handicrafts every country i went to i bought handicrafts whether it was czechoslovakia or england or anywhere i cannot understand how can you go and buy this rubbish of plastic of this useless things and these handicrafts when i bought i was surprised i must tell you about czechoslovakia that they were small small very small shops and they all came one by one mother buy something from us also mother buy something from us you know i was surprised such beautiful things they said we cannot sell them but all nonsensical things people are buying so for sahaj yogi they must take a vow that we'll only take things which are handmade you need not have many things you can have few but something handmade now supposing you get a dress there should be some handmade embroidery or something put it on that so some labor is put it into that it is very difficult to see how people go in for things which are very cheap and extremely troublesome i must tell you one thing i can't wear nylon i can't wear anything artificial really i can't for a while if i even wear socks also my whole body starts pain so it is against handmade things are few i agree but use as far as possible handmade things from the mother earth they make very nice zit terracotta so i am a socialist by temperament i think so i felt a great urge that i should really export nothing but terracotta and terracotta is such a beautiful thing it's so soothing it's so good it smells so well but people think you know we should buy something that is made from america in some machinery thing they go on buying like that in america also i was surprised that beautiful things are selling in shops which they call them outlets very good. mostly of silk or of cotton 
<coughs> and leather, pure leather. But people will go to big, big markets and buy all nonsense at a very high price and not from there, means they have no wisdom. And this is what happens, that the wisdom, if it is lacking in your sense, then this wisdom corrodes the society. Because wisdom itself shows how dangerous it is to go on buying all these nonsensical things. Also now you are seeing that people are taking now more to Ayurveda and to homeopathy. They don't want to use these horrible medicines produced by your great country. You know what they do, Swiss? They send uh, very big uh, offers to doctors from India to come, to work for them. And supposing they have produced one A sample, as you shown, then the same one they change a little bit, is better. And you know these medicines, most of them, are very dangerous and troublesome. By mistake, my family gave me this antibiotics. Since then my legs are very weak and troublesome, I have improved, no doubt. So, see, why we are now taken to this? Because pollution is there, another thing, which is created by this machinery. Gandhiji was saying there is no need to use so much machinery. Now, motor car, we can walk, we can use uh, trains, but people want to go anywhere by motor car, if it, even if it is about, say, ten meters. They don't want to walk. That's how our health has gone down. I must tell you, when I was studying in the school, my school was about five miles, and we had a car, and we had also horses, and what we call is a buggy in our house. But it was compulsory for us to walk five miles in the morning. Evening time the car used to come, but morning time we all had to walk five miles to go to our school. And in between there was a small little mountain which we had to climb. That is how we learnt about nature. If you don't walk from car, what do you know? At the most you can see some lamp post. What do you see from the car? Nothing. You cannot see the nature. And this walking system is very much out of date now for people. People don't walk. I am not saying that today we, we are very changed and we are a very uh, uh, advanced people. In a way we have gone down, because we cannot walk. God has given these legs to walk, but we cannot walk. We avoid walking. Now because of that, so many cars. I know that in some families they have five cars, because five family members. Especially in Spain, I was surprised. So many cars, so many cars, and every car has only one person sitting. Now, problem has started with the pollution and all these things, because we have lost the habits of depending upon ourselves. Now see what has happened in, say, this Kuala Lumpur and all these places, suffering from what you call the smoke. Now, I have not done it, if you think that way. And they are praying to Allah, give us water. Why should God give them water when they are doing all kinds of nonsensical things? Now the there's smoke going on. Why? Because they have cut the trees. Now, why do they want to cut the trees? Because they want to make money, uh, that's all. Uh, their uh, wood is coming to India, because in India also they have cut the trees. If you go on like this mad, you will have pollution means what? Is that destructive forces will act and stop it. For that you don't have to pray to Goddess, it will work out. 
and it's all working out everywhere. So whatever you have to have, try to have something which is handmade. Even your clothes need not be many. Try to have it which are handmade. Is one of the things Sahaja Yogis can do. They need not be to send money to this Swiss bank also. <laughs> The Swiss bank will be very badly exposed now. I'm angry with them for one more thing, that they had promised that they'll give the money to the Jews and now they are going like this, they don't want to give. When they will die, are they going to take it with them? All these sins will be punished. And that is why I'm very happy this year brought it, because I've been talking about it in even in that conference I went to in China, I talked openly about the Swiss bank. I have talked to many uh, magistrates and to many, what you call them, the head of the law ministry and all that, and I have told them, why not we have a conference and say that this banking is nonsense. Now all types of bad people are taking advantage of the system and are trying to make money uh, look very nice or I don't know. So many have lost their money there. I don't know what was the need to put all this money there that when they die their uh, children do not get anything. But the problem is this greed is some sort of an inner defect in a human being. He becomes greedy. Greedy because he has deviated from dharma. He thinks he can get pleasure out of things, he cannot. And he goes on accumulating and buying and this and that. I would say your mother also does that. I buy but I buy things which are handmade, so that tomorrow if I have to give it presents or if I have to sell off things, even the ornaments you have given me, I didn't know what to do, I'm selling them. What will I do with the ornaments? I have to buy so many ashrams, this, that. My family ornaments also I'm selling because I spend money on my family things also. This is, just think of it, what is all this for? What pleasure does it give us? I can understand if you want to give somebody a present or somebody you want to give some happiness, joy, you should do it. But just for yourself, go on, go on. How much can you digest it? You cannot. Joy is much more in giving to others. It's not, it's not uh, a thing that uh, gives you any understanding of the fundamentals. And the fundamentals is that you are dharma. Within you is that, that is your valency. And this materialism absolutely against it. Because <coughs> It creates all kinds of people, mafias, the Swiss bank, uh, cheats. We have uh, communities after communities who are known to be cheats, who are very materialistic. They have no spiritual sense. So for Sahaja Yogis, I would say, of course, you have said all the mantras, so I'm supposed to do all that. But what you have to do, is not to buy any more anything which is not handmade. Try it. At least there should be some embroidery, at least there should be some work done on it. I'm surprised that these things are not very good for us, they are injurious to our health. So, Sajogis must learn that they have to walk. They must walk and they must see the nature what is in the nature. Many of you don't know what, say, I asked the name of this flower, how many of you know? A 
It's a very sweet name, Kiss Me Quick. Apart from its botanical name. But it is, you see, what I'm saying, everything you should know, you should know about small, small things. From where do this embroidery comes? From where does this sari comes? Our Indian men are the worst, I would say, they don't know anything whatsoever. But even Western men also have the same problem. You must take interest in things which, in which you have not taken interest. For example, Indians don't know how to cook, they don't know. Once my husband told me that he knows how to cook. I said, what? He said, I'll make chapatis, rotis. And what he made was nothing Australia, America, this, that. But he said, I give up because I was doing shipping, but shipping means shipping. But minute things you can see, what we call is a subtle vision, subtle eyesight. If you walk, look at the nature, love the trees, love the animals, you will be amazed. There are so many things to be known than reading newspaper. What is there to read in newspaper? For hours together you go on reading newspaper, next day you forget. You will be amazed that this they say that for Godi, Goddess, they said that kataksha, kataksha nirikshan, every glance she knows everything. Any glance she puts on any man, woman or anything, she knows where it is. And if you are My children, you should also try that. Because I always used to run out in the jungles, in the forests, I used to go to all such places and really enjoy the beautiful Mother, this Mother Earth, who has created such a beautiful thing. Have you noticed just now that the colours of the background, which were, were made by the Russians, and the colours of uh, this facing thing are just the same, they have used the same colours. It's true collectivity. Now you notice in the nature, it's so matching, you know. Nothing grows, nothing loud. It's so beautiful. This is red, but it has green to match it. This Mother Earth knows everything, she understands everything, she does everything. But what do we do for Mother Earth? Is to run after artificial things, machinery, this thing, and now new thing has come is computer. It's all right if you want to write letters to someone, but otherwise it's quite maddening, you know. And this computer will make our brain absolutely zero, we'll be paralyzed, we won't be able to think two plus two. So anything that you want to use also should have its mariyadas. Don't go beyond it. If you take to swimming, you'll go on swimming till you get sick. If you are horse riding, you will go on horse riding till you fall down. See, the, this is also a kind of a life which has no mariyadas, like greed has no mariyadas. That's how also this kind of nonsense. I am only fond of this. I am only fond of this. You are a human being. You should never say like that. On the contrary, you should say, I must learn this. I must know this. Uh, what is this all about? It is very important. Otherwise your personality will be a dwarf personality. And ultimately people end up in money. I don't understand. I can't even count two hundred notes. Can't even. I don't know about money, I should say. But I'm good at mathematics. But I don't know, whatever money you are giving goes direct to them and they do it what they like. Now if somebody says, uh, how much you got for this? I don't know. How much for royalties? I don't know. Because I'm not interested. I'm not interested. What is there to be so much interested in money? But I get money all right, no problem, never a problem. I sold one of my ornaments and I got at least hundred times more than what I have spent. 
maybe you might say it's vibrations, whatever you may say. So to get after money means you get very uh, much in the clutches of money. So what is the solution to get rid of this greed? Is to try and give it to others and see the joy. Give something to others, share and see the joy you feel by giving something. I must tell you, Gregor is not here, but I am missing him, because once I went to a sari shop and wanted to buy one sari, but I thought it's rather expensive. Why? Why should I buy such an expensive sari? Came away, and you'll be amazed. He gave me the same sari on my birthday, and I was so filled with joy, because he bought it next day. Went and bought it from that shop kept it with him and on my birthday he gave. These small, small things can give you great joy in giving people, other people, not yourself. I don't know if I have bought anything much for myself in my life, never. Even if I go all shopping, even I'm thirsty, I won't even buy a one Coca-Cola for myself. People know. But I don't buy anything for myself, practically nothing, but you all give me so much what to do. Now I have decided that after this seventy-five years of age, I shouldn't take anything from whatsoever. But to please you, maybe they are asking that only take a national, international, all right, but no more. Every country shouldn't bring water all. This national, international, you are all international people, what is the need to bring any present for me? I don't even have time to see them. I'm so very busy with other things, because there are so many problems in this world. So I would suggest that to get over all these things, we should see ourselves, what we are doing about. I'm sure none of you have money in the Swiss bank. Thank God. <laughs> but never earn more than what you can, you have. There's no need. Whatever comes your way is all right. Of course, if you are doing some work of creativity, of creating some designs, creating something is all right. But don't buy things, go on buying things for yourself or putting them money here, hiding, hiding there, there's no need. You see, you'll feel so satisfied and so happy being honest, being absolutely beyond any problem. Now this mafia business is there, I agree with you. Now this mafia can be controlled only by the government, because they give such a big tax. Now, if for example, an artisan in this poor country, I will say poor, because most of the people are suffering from tax, is he has to pay 265 types of taxes. Italians are known for their art. They make beautiful things, but they cannot, because they have to pay so much taxation. Only the designers, they make the money. Designers make the money, be fooling everybody. They be fool people so much. Once my husband went to Cairo and brought one scarf for me. So he said, this is designers. I said, this looks Indian to me. This is an Indian thing. And surprisingly in the corner it was written, made in India. He paid twenty-five pounds for that, and in India you can get it for two pounds. So this is another thing is to run a race of eliteness. You see, this one was bought by my son-in-law. I said, what is so special? This is very great, you know. 
I didn't know what was so special about the spectacles. So, I went to one shop in America and they all started saying, Madam, Madam, Madam. I said, what is so Madam about me? Why are they calling me Madam? Oh, you don't know? He said, this is Kartiye. I said, who is this Kartiye? So, I am going to put Kartikeya against him. <laughs> All such stupid ideas. You see, and then they bought me a... What's all that? The watch was... What's all that? Ah, uh, Patek Philippe. Patek Philippe. That watch they brought for me. And it would not run in time. I said, what is <laughs> Never keeps the time, is always out of time. My vibrations must be trying some trick. So I gave it to one of them, I said, Baba, show this to the Patek Philips. Ah, that was Matthias was here. This will hit their ego mother very much. I said, why? Because they think they are the best. I said, whatever it is, tell them. You change it, it doesn't keep to time. Then I asked my daughter to have it. I said, Baba, I can't make I don't know why, maybe I will have something simple instead. That too again turned out to be a, what do you call it? Designers. They are now, all, most of these designers are in jail. And some of them met me when I was coming from Russia. They are Absolutely useless people, you know. They take out some idea and sell it for a high price. And if you are a fool, you go and buy that. Did you notice that this is Cartier? For Sergio, these are simple people. Now, this is the thing is that there are, these are also mafias. I tell you, these are also mafias. And these mafias, are exploiting you. I have written it in my book also, if you read it, how these entrepreneurs are trying to be fool you. You wear simple dress, simple from uh, handmade, will be much better than to wear something uh, that makes you look like something out of the blue. And there is no need because it, it is just satisfying your ego. Some people have a habit, as soon as Say, I have, supposing, a, some dinner set. May not be good. Or, they'll come and see the back of the dinner. Set. Oh, from where did you get it? I, say, I don't know. Don't know? No, no, this was... I think, I think somebody gave me, I don't know, I don't know. No, no, you better find out, because very nice. Next day they'll go around the whole place to find out if they can get the same dinner. And Sahaja is just opposite, I tell you, you depend on Sahaja. Once my husband liked one day, tea set. So you know, London has huge, big stores. Some of them are really horrid. I went there, Bapri Bapri, we walked and walked and walked to so, to so many. They said, all right, we promise after six months. Another said seven months, another said eight months. You give us the order. So I gave up the idea. Then CP said, what has happened to their factories? I said, they don't have anything, they are exporting. Then I went to Australia, you'll be amazed. And there, for a special price, just for propagating, they had put these tea sets there. <laughs> Imagine, in Australia, and I got it for the half price. So if you don't have greed, you get what you want, just there. Just there you get it. But if you have greed, then God makes you dance. All right? That is what is so simple as that. Whatever you want, you can get it if you don't have greed about it. That's such an enslaving thing within us that we have greed. I mean, I can give you thousand and one uh, examples of that, thousand and one. 
that if you don't ask for anything, if you don't desire for anything, you get what you need. Whatever you need, you get. But if you go on desiring, then go mad after it, go there, get the... and get lost. And then the thing also gets lost. That's why it is said, better try to develop a detachment. It's all right, if it is there, very good, if it is not there, doesn't matter. Then you'll be surprised, your attention will be so subtle. Now none of you, I think, have seen these beautiful flowers. What are there? You, the beautiful embroidery that is there, the way they have done this. Now can you tell me how many there are hands in this world? Fourteen. Twenty-eight. This side fourteen, this side fourteen. I mean, inclusive of all these other things. So you don't notice anything, and your but attention becomes uh, Mahamaya, they say then, then the Mahamaya. This is no explanation. Your attention, if it is clear, is simple, you can see the thing clearly. And with that attention, only that attention yourself, takes you to the right place where you have to go, you get the right thing, what you want to buy. Can you tell me he, these carpets are from where? They are mostly from Russia. I went to Russia and I saw this carpet factory. They have no sense of export also. So I told them that, how much will a carpet cost? Doctor knows. They said, only twenty dollars. I said, Baba, twenty dollars for carpet. So I told doctor, now what to do? We have to buy many. I said, how much for uh, export? Two hundred dollars. I said, in India, the other way round, if you have to export something, then the pr price is less. I said, all right. So I just, we must think of the solution because I need it. So I asked about twenty surgeries to go and buy each one. Two Russians they give for twenty dollars. I said, all right, you bring this. So you should go in for solutions and not for problems. Greed is a problem. Greed is a problem. How to get rid of the greed is the point. And to get rid of the greed is that if I buy something, for whom should I buy this one? For whom should I buy? Ha, ah, this will be all right for another friend of mine. Like that. If you train your mind on these lines, not for yourself but for others, then you'll be amazed this greed will run away and you'll have joy. As you want to give me things, I understand that, I also want to give you. In the same way, think of all others, they are all brothers and sisters. From other countries, make friends with other countries. If giving is there, then this greed goes away. And you get what you want, the very simple mantra. is a. Surprising, so far, with all the miracles, we don't understand that whatever we need also be provided for. But you must need it, not for stupid uh, collection of things. This was a very, very good thing, acted very well. I enjoyed it thoroughly, the Swiss bank laundering. I know my country suffers from it. Now the another drama 
which was done by the English, shows it's a Pilgrim's Pro Progress is an old, quite an old drama which I have read long time back. But this is the real Pilgrims they have shown how a seeker goes into wrong ways, methods, and throughout they are very nicely brought in how even a Sahaja Yogi while rising falls into different pits. So it's a very good thing for you to know that if you are Sahaja Yogis, you should be very careful and you should see that you don't fall into these pits and ultimately the ego and superego. In the West the problem is more of ego, not of superego. And for ego, uh, <laughs> to accept that you have ego is the only way and then it will drop out. If you know there is ego, ego will drop out. The simple thing is to know that you have ego, ego of something. People have ego of any nonsense, you know. There was one lady very proud and egoistical, so I asked about her, what is the matter with her? Because she knows how to make dolls, right? That should give you ego or what? <laughs> I didn't understand that part. But this is what it is. Even for small things people have ego. And all this uh, designing and all that, is based on your stupid ego, which makes you buy all these things to show off your ego. So try to be humble, humble and try to understand that all these worldly things, we are not going to take them with us, they are going to lie down. I'm not saying you renounce, I'm not saying you take sannyasa, but you should know that the value of these things is com nothing compared to you. When ego comes, this idiosity coming. You think by wearing something great, you are very much uh, influence others. You may, but those who are influenced are other, another set of schools. I was. Once I was wearing a ring, and I went to shopping in one of the places. And they were so respectful to me, I said, suddenly the shopkeepers, they never respect me because I'm an Indian. What has happened? So I had gone to a shop where the lady was known to me. She said, may I ask you, is this real? I said, what do you mean real? Is it a real emerald? Yes, yes, very old for my family. Ah, so your family very rich? No, no. It was from my forefathers, I am just wearing that. My God, if it is real, what will be the price? I said, how will I know? It was bought long time back. I don't know the price. No, can you get me one? I said, why do you want to have it? You can have this one if you like. Like that, you know, a small thing makes them so that you are so great. It's not. What is the greatest thing? in us is our spirit, it's the spirit that we have. And we should know that we should be proud of it, that we have got the spirit within us and if you become proud, then you will not do nonsensical things. You are people who are all realized souls. And already you have crossed over this pilgrim's stage, you are much above that. Now the greatest thing is to know that we are spiritual people, and as spiritual people, you even dominate me, in a way. If you all desire for something, I can't get over it. I have to accept. I have to keep you pleased. Many things I'm doing just because <coughs> you want it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me because it no nothing comes over my head. So it's all right, whatever children want, let them do. But the one point is, this ego has to be really under control. There's one little more point I want to tell you, because tomorrow I may not be able to say in Navratri, you see, I am bound by other things, is this. 
I wanted to talk to people who are married in Sahaja Yoga, especially to the ladies. I think some of them are extremely dominating and stupid. What is marriage? Marriage is honeymoon, as they call it. Honey is the essence and moon is the peace. Now, if the women are quarrelsome, fighting, sarcastic, it is absolutely a hell for man. Instead of there, if human knows the essence, the honey, she should know how to please the husband, to bring peace in the family. Now, some of the husbands are drunk birds or anything, not in Sahaja Yoga. What pleases the husband? You see, in a way, it's a trick. It's a trick of a realized soul. How to please others? What do we do to our husbands? Do we try to please? First of all, find out what he likes. My husband, I would say, has gone away, thank God. He used to say, you shouldn't wear any flower in your head. But in Maharashtra, all the married women are supposed to wear flowers. Since that day, I have never worn any flower in my head. It's all right, doesn't matter. He didn't know what I was. So he said, don't wear any flowers, I don't. Then he said, you must wear bangles, because he comes from a very traditional farm. All my life I have worn bangles. It pleases him, what's the matter? Little, little things you do just to please him. Then he also starts thinking, what should I do for my wife? But first it must start from woman, not from man, because women are responsible for the society. In the Western culture, they are not told what is their job is. Man's job is economics, politics, money earning. They have made a mess out of it, I agree with you. Quite a big mess. But your job is to make the society. And to make the society, first you must know how to keep children pleased, how to keep your husband pleased, how to help people. On the contrary, if you try all the time to dominate, that's not your job to dominate at all. Your job is to make, neutralize his domination by simple, simple thing. I'll give you an example. Thank God he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> he, knows, he knows I'm very... Uh, I'm very clever in certain things. In his office, he had a gentleman, I never used to interfere with his office, but there was one gentleman, good one, who gave up his organization and joined another one. Because it was a private one, he was getting more money, so he joined it. But there he found it was horrible, so he wanted to come back to shipping corporation. But my husband is very particular about rules, regulations. No, 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 I won't have you, I don't want to see your face, get out, this thing, that. So he came to me. Normally I never interfere. He came to me and he said, if you tell him, he might listen. I said, no, if I tell him, he will never listen. But I know how to do it. So I told him that this gentleman came to see me. Huh? So he's come to the right person. Now, are you going to trouble me about it? No, 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 not me. But just think why he came to me. He said, why? Because he thinks I'm more generous than you are. Immediately, this competition. And that fellow got the job. He was a great friend of his. Even in London, he was helping him a lot. So, when we think that we have to control our husband, it's better to do it in a very simple way. Dhyan ki avastha banaye rakhte hain.
जय श्री माता जी परम पूज्य श्री माँ के श्री चरणों पर हम प्रार्थना अर्पित करते हैं परम पूज्य श्री माता जी आज का ध्यान आपके श्री चरणों में समर्पित है आज के अमृतवाणी में आपने जो ज्ञान हमें प्रदान किया सामूहिकता आपकी ऋणी है परम पूज्य श्री माता जी आपकी कृपा में सामूहिकता को सहज कार्य करने हेतु उत्तम संतुलित माध्यम बनाइए हमारे अंदर से निरंतर आपकी शक्तियाँ प्रवाहित होती रहे आपकी कृपा में विश्व निर्मल धर्म प्रस्तापित हो जाए माँ इस ध्यान सत्र में अगर हमसे कोई गलती हुई हो कृपा कर हम सब को क्षमा कर दीजिए हमारी प्रार्थनाओं का स्वीकार कीजिए और हमें आशीर्वादित कीजिए आपके श्री चरणों पर कोटि कोटि प्रणाम अनंत कोटि प्रणाम जय श्री माता जी कुंडलिनी चढ़ाकर बंधन लेते हैं आज का ध्यान सत्र अभी संपन्न होता है जय श्री माता जी